Hey everyone. Um, because I wanted to know if people have had this happen to them. Um, so apparently I've been dating this girl for about a month now, and uh, I thought everything was going well. Um, what the hell was that fucking flicker? I'm just walking around downtown, and uh, someone's like, house is like, I'm assuming it's candles. But you can't really see anything, you just see like a flicker. It looks like a candle. I hope it's a candle, or maybe it's a fireplace. It could be a fireplace, because that's a lot of flickering. It's got to be a fireplace. Um, it's cold out here. Anyway, um, so this beautiful girl I've been talking to for over a month now hasn't written me back at all today. She wrote me a little bit yesterday, um, but she didn't write back today. So I'm a little concerned. Um, you know, the thing is, I want to let people know, you know, if, if, if something doesn't feel right or if, like, someone doesn't want to date you anymore, I mean, she even said, I love my date. I would love to go on a second date with you. And it's like, look, if you don't want to go on another date with the person, say so. Be genuine. Be honest. You know, it's just weird because on December 15th, um, we met on Plenty of Fish and I wrote a ton of girls on there. She was the only one that responded. So I wrote this girl and uh, it was like back and forth and it was constant, you know, and now it really slowed down. Like, and then I went on a date with her in January like last week and she's like oh I love my date I love that you're not like other guys I really like you you know she's being a sweetheart now she didn't write me at all so I'm hoping that without I mean it's like you gotta kind of play this game but um what I'm gonna do is just not say anything and go dark on her so if she goes hey what happened to you are you okay and then you know, writes him back, because if she never writes you back, then she's either one or two things. She found someone else, and is not being truthful to you, or two, maybe she really is really sick, and she just (laughs) is in the hospital or something. It's one of those two things. So, one of my friends said that happened to him, and the girl didn't respond, so... He told me that he, uh, you know, didn't write her. And then she wrote her three days later, but he was over it. But they're still friends to this day. But she did write back saying, hey, what's been going on? Are you okay or whatever? So I'm going to take my friend's advice and do that. Because I wrote her a very nice message just saying, hey, sweetie. Um, you know, because she calls me hon and I call her sweetie. Because she is a sweetheart. She really is. And, um, you know, and then I said, hey, you know, I, I'm sorry, you know, that you've been working too much. And I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better. I'm sorry that you've been working so hard. Um, just know you can text me whenever. Um, I care about you. And uh, then I said, I finally heard back from my dad. He's just stressed out with the divorce and everything. Um write me whenever hope all is well with you and that's all I said it was one simple text that's it because we we usually do talk a lot nothing so maybe she is really sick maybe she's so sick that she's been asleep forever so you know the thing why I worry about her is because she does have depression She does have anxiety. Um, She does have sciatica in her knees and her back. And she also suffers from borderline diabetes. So there's a lot of things that are going on with her. And that's why I kind of worry about her a little bit. Just because I really care about her and she's a good person. So I mean, at least she went on that one date with me. But it's like... You know, she even said, I go, so what do you want to do? Like, like, do you want to keep dating or, you know, like, do you want to just, you know, like, do you want this to turn into a relationship? She basically was saying how, 
you know, just dating for now and then see where it goes. So she never really said that she doesn't want to date me anymore. But it's like, you know, if you don't want to date someone, you be honest, be upfront. That's why I told uh, that one girl I dated that that um, that I was a victim of sexual assault. Because I told her the same thing. I said, look, you know, you seem like a great girl, but I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't want to date anymore. You, you, there's a lot of things that you've done that kind of worries me. And, you know, I don't think we're right for each other. And then I, I was, I was, uh, you know, I gave her in plain English, you know, why I don't want to date her and say, you know, you're really overly sexual. You know, I, I hope you can find someone else. I'm sorry, but I don't want to date. And then she came up to me and followed me and then kept bugging me to get back with her. So I kind of was talking to her a little bit, but I told her, look, I, I don't like the, you know, you, she sexually assaulted me. So a lot of stuff bothered me. But anyway, I, um, uh, I'm just saying, you know, if people are going to date you... Be honest, be truthful, be loyal, you know? Don't, like, fuck around and not talk to the person. I mean, seriously, if you don't want to be with that person, you say so. If you don't like that person, you say so. You know, I was genuine. You know, I told her, that girl that I dated for, like, a month or whatever. But, I mean, I've dated this girl for a little over a month, you know? And it's just, you know... So, I don't know. It's just, I'm, I'm sick of trying to date people when you put in all the effort and they don't put the effort back. It's like, I feel like people are just fucking around and playing with your emotions. So, I'm just wondering if anyone else has had this problem or not. But, um, it's fucking cold out here. So, I'm going, uh, I'm going to fucking go inside right now. Let me, um. There we go. Alright, talk to you all later. Um, Subscribe. um, Follow my podcast when I talk about literally everything. Also, um, oh yeah, quick note. How was that fucking Eagles game? Fucking phenomenal. I can't believe the Eagles and the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl again. This, I mean the Patriots again. So, um, good luck to the Eagles, and that'll be fun, and I'll definitely podcast that at the Super Bowl. So, thanks for listening. Bye.